Hey guys, Nathan here. I just wanted to show off a quick little script I made that automatically farms resources in your Minecraft world. Uh, you have to have Impact Client installed as well as some waypoints set. But once you have it all set up, it's actually pretty useful. So to start off, uh, I'm gonna tab out of Minecraft here and go to my terminal window. And all you need to do to run the script is just say Python and then run the actual code I wrote, which is source code.py. Click enter and it shows the name of the program and it wants to know how many minutes would you like to perform each task for. Now I'll just do one minute per task just so I can show off. And then how many hours would you like the script to run for? Basically this will allow the script to automatically let, make you leave the server uh, after it's done running. Uh, I'm just going to make it run for 0.1 hours. So uh, I think that's like 10 minutes or so. And then I'll just ask you to start. I'm ready to start, so I'm going to enter yes. And then it says it's going to start in 30 seconds. So you go into Minecraft, you know, make sure you're all good. Make sure you have food in your hotbar. Make sure your sword is in position one and your fishing rod is in position six. And then you're good to go. Uh, yeah, so I made this because a lot of times uh, I was playing on 2B2T and I didn't really want it to you know, I didn't want to have to be on all the time, and I just wanted it to play the game automatically for me. So here's the first module. Basically, it's just going to go automatically fish for me. So right now it's pathing to the fishing site. Okay, so now that it's there, you can see in the terminal window, uh, it's still waiting for the pathing to finish. Uh, and then it's going to automatically aim the cursor for me and then turn on auto fish. So pretty cool. So you see uh, this auto fish is actually built into impact client. All my script is doing is automatically entering commands into the terminal window and then waiting set amounts of time. So pretty simple. But it's super effective. It avoids AFK kick on 2B2T. Uh, and you can just leave this running for hours and it'll just farm resources for you. I should probably explain the four different modules that are built in. So the first one is fishing. Uh, it'll walk to the fishing site and aim your cursor and then automatically start auto fishing. Uh, the second module after this you'll see is, uh, what's it called? It's called mo mob grinding. So it'll go to my mob grinder which is what it's doing right now. Yep, it's going to my mob grinder. And then once it's there, it's actually gonna start automatically killing the mobs in the drop down chamber and harvesting resources. This is really good for XP farming. So uh, you can just let this run and boom, get up to level 30, and then you're good to go. There we go. It automatically puts the sword in my hand and then rotates the cursor to a certain degree. So it's pointed right at the hole where the mobs drop down. And it also turned on auto clicker, so it'll automatically hit those mobs whenever they drop down. Now it's done with the mob grinding module. It just wants to go caving, I guess. Wants to explore the cave. Okay, it's good to see that it doesn't break. See, it auto it already triggered auto farm, even though it wasn't there. But it seems like it's good to go. So now that it's there, it's automatically farming. Pretty nice. And this will automatically harvest whatever you want for you. 
Uh, I mean, I don't have a lot of farm stuff here, but keep in mind you can have infinite amounts of crops and whatever. And uh, once it's done, I'll say farm failed, that's fine. Uh, it just means it harvested all your, all your crops and you're good to go. Okay, so now it's done with this part. Now this is the final part. It's going to path to the item drop off location. So it's pathing here. I'll look around for you so you can kind of see. So this is a stream of water right here. And basically on the other end of the stream of water are a bunch of hoppers. So what what this client or what this uh, script will do, it'll drop all the items off and it'll automatically go into the hoppers and be stored in chests. That way when you're writing the script for a while, the, the AI's inventory doesn't just fill up and then, you know, then it just stops working, you know. It, it'll actually drop off the items. So here we go. Rotates the cursor to the good drop off spot. And then it automatically drops off uh, some preset items. I put an impact client. It's just a bunch of stuff you'd normally get from the mob grinder or from farming or from fishing. So we'll drop those off and then your inventory is pretty clear. And then there you go. It automatically leaves once you're done. Uh, so the reason why it left is because I set it to the script to end after, what was it, five minutes. So that way it, it can just finish running. But um, if you imagine, if you enter like multiple hours for the script, to run for it'll just keep looping those tasks over and over again until the time is reached so it's super useful okay that's it uh thanks for watching have a good one Bye bye